This clang would have been familiar to Chinese railroad workers as they worked on the transcontinental railroad for 11 or 12 hours a day. 150 years ago, this railroad was the first to connect America's east and west coast. A journey that previously took four months could now be completed in four days. This fueled our country's rapid economic growth, making it the world's superpower it is today. None of this would have been possible without the 10 to 12,000 Chinese railroad workers who made up 90 percent of the West's workforce. But you wouldn't know it by looking at this iconic photo taken at its completion in 1869. When people think about the transcontinental, that's the photo they think about. That's the narrative the mainstream is trying to push, but you don't see any Chinese workers. At the Chinese American Museum's new railroad exhibit, another photo taken in 2014 hints at the true story of the past that's been erased. This is a way to reclaim the Chinese heritage. Um, reclaim the work and reclaim the country in a way, because sometimes Asian Americans are considered to be a perpetual other, but in fact, they're the ones who built this country and link the coast, coast together. Descendants of the Chinese railroad workers are prominently featured at the center of the photograph. And it's not just one photo that erased Chinese workers' contributions to the railroad. They're missing from history textbooks and newspaper articles, too. Gordon Chang co-directed a project about the Chinese railroad workers at Stanford. The erasure of the story of Chinese railroad workers from American history textbooks is similar to the neglect or erasure of much of minority history in American life. But there are many other works, uh, both published books as well as magazine articles that mention Chinese uh, hardly at all or, 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 or neglect them entirely. Here's another example of how Chinese workers were left out of history. There's a competition about laying the tracks and only the recorded names of the eight Irishmen, but none of the Chinese. So why leave out the Chinese workers from the railroad story for all these years? A lot had to do with the white workers' fears that the Chinese were taking their jobs and working at a cheaper rate. At the beginning, they were paid $26 a month, as opposed to European-American workers who were paid $40 a month. So it's half. Despite the huge role Chinese workers played in completing the railroad, the U.S. passed a racist law to ban them from the country just 13 years later. The Chinese Exclusion Act was the first law that banned immigration based on race and also deported Chinese workers who were already in the country. The law stoked anti-Chinese sentiment, leading to violence against the community. So the anti-Chinese sentiment that arose in the 18. 70s and 1880s resulted in also their erasure from the written history of the country. The exhibit aims to correct the narrative, starting with its title, The Chinese Helped Build the Railroad, The Railroad Helped Build America. Why is it important to capture the life of a Chinese worker, whether it's the food or the place that they sleep in? I feel like people, uh, when people at the time talk about the railroad workers, they also talked about how efficient they are or how good a worker they are. It's almost like product review as opposed to how great a people they are. Mm. So this is a way for us to human, humanize them. Railroad work is tough and dangerous. Workers battled severe weather conditions, used explosives, carried heavy hand tools for miles. Hundreds died. And yet, Chinese workers were treated differently in pay, housing, and working conditions. How like Chinese rail workers were segregated from U European American workers? Train cars are actually modified dorms for European American workers. Whereas oh. if you are Chinese, you are living in tents. It's not all, always the case. For in, like in winter, they have some more permanent situations. It is important to Chinese American history, but it's also important to American history because Chinese American history is American history. It's really important for Asian Americans to feel proud of their heritage and their contribution to the nation.